Hello! Um, this video is about enzymes and very specifically I'm going to focus on enzymes that are important in the human body, especially if you're going on to take a class like AMP. So a few things that I'll recap about enzymes is that they are usually proteins, not always though. Uh, they're essential to virtually all body reactions. Oops, essential. And then I'm going to abbreviate the word. Well, no, I guess I won't. All body reactions, chemical reactions, that is. And then a few things about how they work, what makes them work best. So first, they work best when it's warm. So that's like body temperature, basically. Um, they work best when you have a lot of the enzyme. And when you have a lot of what's called the substrate or what the enzyme is acting on. If you don't have enough of the enzyme, the reaction won't work very well. Say, for example, if someone's lactose intolerant and they don't have enough of the enzyme lactase. Um, if you don't have enough of the substrate, even if you have a lot of the enzyme, you're not going to get a lot of whatever product you need. So then let's go over here. And with my little Pac-Man oh, Pac symbol, I just want to show you the basic substrate and enzyme. So let's use our green highlighter for the enzyme. Like that. And then you can make this the substrate. So what you'll notice is that um, the substrate in this case is bigger than the enzyme. The active site is where they bind together. So this like little piece of the pie right there is called the active site. It's where they bind. And then the green is the enzyme, represents the enzyme in this picture, and the yellow represents the substrate. So you can keep that in mind as we go through these examples. Okay, for the rest of this page, I'm going to give you examples of real enzymes in your body and um, their, some of their names. And these are probably things that you will be learning if you are uh, pre-nursing at some point. If not, then you're learning a little more about how your body works, which is probably good for all of us to know. Okay, I'm going to highlight the stomach, and this is called the duodenum, the first part of the intestine, in orange. Right here, so this is the stomach. Uh, part of the intestine and this right here in that will color in yellow is the pancreas So um, a couple of things I want to highlight to you in the stomach are uh, number one there is a substance called pepsinogen in the stomach that in the presence of hydrochloric acid is converted to pepsin. And then that pepsin, so step number two in this process, is that that pepsin is able to convert protein or break them down, catabolize them into amino acids, their building block. So, um, hydrochloric acid is what converts pepsinogen into pepsin, and then pepsin converts protein or breaks proteins down into amino acids. So our color coding scheme will be a substance that acts like an enzyme. Hydrochloric acid is not necessarily an enzyme, but it's definitely required for this reaction. Uh, denatures or it kind of unbends the pepsinogen, makes it unfold. And then the pepsin then becomes the enzyme for the reaction of pr protein breaking down to amino acids. And then whenever we're um, showing like something changing into something else on this page, we can use a green arrow like that. Okay, so then um, let's go ahead and look at the pancreas that squirts its products into the duodenum. So this is the pancreas. It is an exocrine gland, meaning it makes stuff and then it squirts them out onto the mucous membrane of the intestine. 
and it makes a few important enzymes. Proteases that break down proteins into their amino acids. Amylase that breaks down starch into simple sugars. And lipase that breaks down fats into fatty acids. All of these are essential for digestion to occur. So proteases, amylase, and lipase. And then those enzymes get squirted into the duodenum right here. So you can call this the duodenum. It's the first part of your intestine. Okay, so um, proteins are broken down into amino acids. And let's use a little bit of lingo for this. So put purple will be the name of the substrate. And then remember we use a green arrow for the chemical reaction that's occurring. And then proteases are the enzymes. And there's a whole bunch of different types of proteases, trypsin, chymotrypsin. I'm just going to have you learn the name proteases for now. Pepsin is another type of protease, but it's only found in the stomach, not in the duodenum. And then uh, carbohydrates they are broken down into simple sugars like glucose, galactose, or fructose. So we'll put purple for the substrate, green to indicate the reaction occurs, and then the name of the enzyme that does this is amylase. We make this in your saliva, but also in your pancreas. And then we could give a specific kind, like a type of a disaccharide that can be broken down specifically into glucose and galactose. So specific example for you. And that lactose and then green to indicate the chemical reaction. And then we'll put lactase here. Lactase is actually produced by the cells of your intestine right here. And they're called brush border enzymes. They're not coming Lactase doesn't come right from the pancreas, as far as I know. Seems like there's always exceptions to what I think I know, though. So there's proteins, carbohydrates, and then I gave an example of another specific carbohydrate reaction. And then fats or lipids, they are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol. And that occurs thanks to the enzyme lipases that are made in the pancreas. So we'll put lipases in pink. The fact that this is a chemical reaction in green. This is catabolic breakdown of nutrients. And then fats and lipids. It's a substrate affected. Put that in purple. And we could put, actually just for fun, if we wanted to add then what the end product is for all of these. You could highlight that in blue if you'd like. Okay, that's the end of part one. In part two, I'm going to go on and explain some important enzymes that occur in your liver and in your bloodstream and in your mitochondrion.